Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Resort Review. Today we're checking out the Hyatt Regency Orange County. It's technically in Garden Grove, California, but it's just down the street from Disneyland, about a mile and a half walk. Uh, they offer a free shuttle service to the parks, so this is definitely a place to stay if you're a Hyatt loyalist and want to go to Disneyland. Also has a ton of convention space, you might be here for a conference, so let's check out the entire property. Super interesting atrium to start, uh, massive indoor space. Uh, they've redone it since I've last been here. They have a nice little Starbucks there to the right. Um, but the rest of the property definitely needs some tender loving care. There are some weird uh, little arcades and shops as you walk into your tower. Uh, definitely some leftover space here that they're probably running out pretty cheaply. A uh, gift shop there uh, with some you know, Gatorades, etc., that you might need uh, on your way to the parks. So let's check out my room. So I was sharing my room with my sister this trip, so I decided to use a tier suite upgrade with my Hyatt Globalist status uh, to secure a kid's suite at the Hyatt Regency. So this is kind of cool uh, for families visiting uh, the parks. Uh, plenty of room for everyone because you have a king bed in this room as you see, and, and then you'll see that there are actually bunk beds in the other partitioned off room um, right next to the bathroom. So we're gonna check everything out here first. So uh, definitely some old cabinetry here, but plenty of space if you're hanging up clothes on your visit to Disneyland here or if you're here for work. Uh, the bigger TV is actually in the kids' room, uh, and you'll see there's like a queen lower bed and then probably a full upper bed uh, here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so plenty of room for bigger families to squeeze into this room. There's still just one bathroom, unfortunately. Um, no view uh, from my room, but some of them might have some park views in the distance. This is pretty close to Disneyland, but it's not as close as other uh, off-property hotels that might be uh, good neighbor hotels with Disneyland. So just keep that in mind. Uh, again, they do have the free shuttle. Uh, it is possible to walk. I've walked a couple times from here, but it's, it's a long walk and you're gonna be on your feet a lot in the parks all day. So that is the kid suite at the High Regency Orange County. Now let's check out the rest of the property. So big convention property, we're off on the left side of the atrium. I just wanted to explore a little bit. This is where most of the meeting rooms are. A lot of space that's kind of been deserted over here. Uh, nice hallway though, um, and plenty of natural light. So if you are here for a conference, it's kind of nice to, to get that sometimes. So this is the South Tower, I believe, and um, this is actually where the gym and the main pool is uh, and the activities deck. So they actually do have a number of, of fun activities on property here, which I think is uh, pretty great. And compared to other places I've stayed in Anaheim, this has more going on. So if that's important to you, if you're not in the parks all day, every day, definitely an option here. So you take the elevator up, walk down a long hallway, and you'll find the activities deck level as well as the gym. So looking at satellite images of the property beforehand, I didn't know if the property actually had tennis courts or if they were gonna be abandoned because satellite images can, can be a little outdated. Uh, but I was surprised to see actually pickleball courts. So they've definitely renovated that um, recently because pickleball is a relatively new phenomenon, but really popular. They had pickleball paddles and balls, or uh, whatever you call them, right there. So that was pretty cool. And then a small little pool, uh, pretty you know massive deck for how small the pool is. I didn't realize until I left, but there's actually a second pool on property on the ground floor next to the valet, which I'll show you later in the video. Good shot of the hotel there. And then the gym is over there in that lit room inside. Now we're gonna walk over to the pickleball and other activities area. So definitely recently resurfaced. There's two courts here, so plenty of room there. I think uh, it's a smart idea to, to brand towards uh, pickleball now. I'm sure there's some people that will pick this hotel just for pickleball. 
Then there's some shuffleboard, so and and bocce ball even. So a lot of fun little lawn games uh, if you're done with the parks for the day and come back and uh, relax a little bit with your family. And then they also have uh, a ping pong table and just other places to sit. Obviously this used to be tennis courts, so they've made use of the space uh, as much as they could. Now let's take a look at the gym. Pretty decently sized gym, uh, not the newest equipment, but everything seemed to be in pretty good shape. Free weights, machines, etc. Pretty much your standard hotel gym. There's a business center down in the main lobby here. We're back back in the main lobby. This is also where you have breakfast in the morning as a globalist at Tusca. Uh, one of the days it was actually rainy and the restaurant flooded. Uh, so they definitely have some leaking problems here in the main atrium. So they moved us over to the sports grill, which is open in the evenings. Uh, I had a chance to dine at the sports grill and it was really great. Uh, had a nice burger uh, and some fries. They have some good beers on tap. So definitely check that out after the parks. Never saw this open during my stay, but they do have like a little frozen yogurt restaurant, which uh, you know maybe open seasonally or on the weekends. And then there's a Nova uh, Asian restaurant, which is located technically on property uh, and connected to the hotel, as well as a yoga studio, which never really saw advertised until I walked out behind uh, to get our car for the day. And as promised, here is the second pool on property. So a bit more of a traditional pool. There's also a hot tub in the back corner. So I was actually really surprised to find this. Um, looked all over the property and did not know that they had two pools. So always fun to explore and make these videos and be surprised sometimes. Here's that shuttle. So they, they run on a schedule. Uh, starts pretty early in the morning, so you make it for park opening and runs till about 30 minutes after. So thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe if you love these videos and throw me a like.